Hi, I'm Sarah Lichty, and I'm the Project Manager for the Molecular Observation Network at the Environmental Molecular Sciences Laboratory. In this video, we'll discuss how to submit a proposal for the Monet Soil Function Call, which opened February 14, 2023. Visit the Monet website at enzel.pnnl.gov slash Monet and navigate to the Soil Function Call. Here you will find a list of the U.S. ecoregions from which we are currently accepting samples. To start the proposal submission process, download the Monet Soil Function Request Form. In the form, you will add a summary of your research, as well as provide details about your desired sampling frequency and field site location by filling in text boxes and drop-down lists. Pay special attention to Section 3, which covers environmental and regulatory compliance. This will help our team obtain the required permits to support the sampling process. After completing the form, save the file as a PDF as PI last name underscore soil function underscore FY23. You will upload this document into the Nexus portal. So let's jump over to Nexus. If you haven't yet, create a Nexus user account within the user portal at nexus.emsl.pnnl.gov slash portal. Once created, click Submit a Proposal slash LOI and select Open Calls, Monet, and Soil Function. Then click Start New Proposal. You'll notice sections of the proposal submission process are grayed out because they've been pre-selected by the Monet team. On the Details tab, change the requested start date to two months prior to when you could reasonably sample your field site of interest. For example, if you request to start in July 2023, put May 2023. For a title, input PI last name, Monet request. For an abstract, copy and paste your summary research description from your completed Monet Soil Function request form. And then upload your PDF in the proposed research section. Next, click on the Participants tab and add your additional team members. If you want to add co-PIs to the project, you will need their citizenship and ORCID ID. The easiest way is to have your team members update their profile in Nexus prior to submitting a proposal. The funding section asks about the funding source that will support your time collecting cores for Monet. Don't worry, ENSA will cover Monet analysis costs but the Department of Energy requires that we collect this information for reporting purposes. Examples include U.S. DOE, Office of Science, Biological and Environmental Research, U.S. Department of Agriculture, U.S.-based university, and other funding agency if none of the options apply to your funding source. Moving on to the Resources tab, you'll see that the EMSL User Support Office has pre-populated the resources being offered through Monet. Don't worry about adding sample numbers or estimated shipment dates to EMSL in this tab. Those details can be added within the Samples and Equipment tab. Usage hours will also be determined by the EMSL User Service Office at a later point in time. Within the Samples and Equipment tab, you'll see more pre-populated questions about general risks associated with your samples. Since we know all Monet sample submissions are soil cores, we felt comfortable filling that in for you. Now for the fun part. Click on Add Experimental Sample Group and fill out the associated information. For description of samples, denote your sample site ecoregion and land use. 
For a number of samples, estimate the number of cores by, by multiplying your field sites by the number of sampling events. Fill in the estimated shipment date by estimating when you hope to sample your sites. A more formal date will be established if your proposal is approved. For the type of instruments you'll use for the samples, type the Monet Suite. Answer the rest of the questions based on your field site. For the regulatory compliance question, refer to the answers on the Monet Soil Function Request Form, Section 3, or contact your institution's environmental compliance representative if you are unsure. Typically, the answers to the radioactive and nanomaterial questions are no, but use your knowledge of your field sites to correctly answer these questions. Next, enter the latitude and longitude in decimal degree notation. The easiest way to get decimal degree notation is by locating your site on Google Maps and right-clicking on it. I'll use the Pacific Northwest National Lab campus as an example. The next question asks if your samples are biological, which will always be yes since soil is inherently biological. For the question on whether your samples contain pathogens or pests, use your knowledge of your field site to answer. Lastly, you will not need to perform sample prep at the facility since Monet lab members will perform all the sample prep and analysis work. For the terms section, read through the proposal terms and conditions items and select confirm. Lastly, Check over your information and click the Submit button. With that, you have submitted your sample proposal. You can expect to hear back from the EMSL User Support Office in approximately 30 days on whether your proposal was accepted. If accepted, we will provide more information on next steps. Thank you.